of Prince cover band in Fishers. Man, I can't wait for these summer concert series to come back. Jeez, we've waited so long. Sarah is here, director of Fishers Parks and Rec. My goodness, it's been it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. It's been actually more than a year. We had a couple concerts last year, but right, but it's been. An it's what we want. We want to get back, people back out, and especially with outdoor concerts, it's something we should probably uh, uh, let folks at home know about. We told you about the Noblesville ones, but I want to talk, obviously, about the Fishers plan. Tell me, first off, the, the bird's eye view of what's going to happen this summer and, and, and what you've done to make it happen. Sure. So we uh, have our full concert series launching at the beginning of June. Free Tuesday night concerts, free Friday night concerts, all generously uh, sponsored by IU Saxony Health, mm -hmm. Wednesday lunchtime concerts, um, generously sponsored by Meyer Najum. We have a full lineup planned. We've got Tuesday night concerts in June and July and uh, Friday night concerts in July and August. And just a great lineup of huge yes. variety of artists. And it's more than just folks who live in Fishers who come to these, uh, you know, because you've Absolutely. got a huge space. Tell me about the, the structure and, and, and how it looks like for, for attendees. All of the shows take place at our Nickel Plate District Amphitheater, which was uh, renovated in 2018. It's got huge, expansive lawn for people to space out, uh, great sound system so you can really hear <laughs> really the show. Really good into it, yep. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we'll have food and uh, beverage vendors on site as well. Um, we're also covering safety precautions, so we'll have hand washing stations around. We'll encourage mask wearing. Well, that was my next question. Is obviously when, the, even though it's an outdoor event, um, Fishers, with its own health department, has been one that's had very strict rules, or at least well defined uh, rules on what can can't happen. So, what what are the setup? What's the structure then for this? So we're keeping in close contact with Fishers Health Department at the moment. Uh, masks are. Uh, suggested okay and we'll keep an eye on it during the summer and if that changes we'll message out but um, it is an outdoor venue so mm -hmm. um, you know it's not required to wear a mask but uh, we will suggest it and people are on the lawn food and drink do you still have I, I think at once upon a time there were food trucks and things like that that were absolutely. there absolutely okay. each week we'll have uh, food trucks and uh, beverage vendors for adults and once upon a time, back way long ago, when I lived in Fishers, these were just small concerts, but they still had like a theme. You know, you'd have like a cover band. Are there still kind of themes that go with each night? Yep. So Tuesday night, our Tuesday night series are more um, bands that play songs that you, you know, all the words to, cover yep. bands. <laughs> uh, they get you up and dancing, family friendly. And then our Friday night shows are, uh, they start at 8 p.m., so it's a little bit later, okay. um, geared to be kind of a date night and they are tribute bands, so each night is a different uh, artist or band that that, that uh, band is playing all of the songs of. Wow. So we've got a, um, a Pearl Jam tribute, a Prince tribute, <laughs> um, Pink Floyd with a laser show. Nice. There's a whole range of... Many nights to remember and nights to enjoy. We've got the schedule and more info on wishtv.com. Of course, Fisher's Parks and Rec and your partners make all this happen Absolutely. throughout this summer.